Okay, this week, week three, um, should be a fairly simple week. It is a short week because you don't have school on Monday. So I'm going to kind of, in this video, actually walk through all of the assignments and do them with you. Um, first thing would be to open up Composer. Well, you need to do your reading while, while Composer is opening for me. Um, Okay, so creating and publishing a home page. Important uh, vocabulary this week. You need to know the difference between a file name and a page name. And there are rules that apply to each one of those. So those will be on the test and you are expected to know that. Also, you need to know... Uh, let me go back here. You'll need to know what the significance of the index.html is and what is the page name that equals that file name. So that will also be on upcoming quizzes. You need to know that. Um, so you will read about that and then creating a home page. So real simple at this point, you will come back and edit this. So open up Composer. Um, first thing we're going to do is we're just going to type in welcome to and then put in your name and then I'm going to ask you all to put web portfolio you know you're not making a website for um, any for it's for class right now so you want to keep it appropriate and basically what you're doing is you're making a place online where you're putting all of your work so your web page right now just has to say this um, there are a few things I'm going to show you how to do although we will go into these in more detail as the class goes on if you highlight your text come up to format and let's do te uh, font uh, on the web you actually want to use a sans serif font um, and sans serif we will go into more uh, detail on but I can tell you that this defaults to Times New Roman which is a serif font sans means without so it's without those little things on the side uh, online you actually read better if it is a sans serif without those font so format font I can tell you that Helvetica and Arial are good sans serif fonts to use another one is Verdana that I like um, so choose one of those also you'll notice that up here it says body text if we make that a heading one it will make it the largest it can be and again, we will go into more depth later on how you can actually make this even larger. Okay, one last thing I would teach you to do on this one is it's a heading. Let's center it. Um, I don't like other things being centered, uh, especially lists. That's a bad design thing. So going forward, you'll want to have everything else over on the left. So you've got all that done. We're going to do a file, save as and this is the title for the page it is not the file name it is the page name so we're going to put in home page it can have a space now when we want to save it this is real important I have gone into my I have made a folder for this class in my high school web design I have my public HTML folder which you guys should all have from last week and I'm going to go in there now if you did your reading you know it can't be called that it must be index that HT index lowercase I and your home computer is probably doesn't give a hoot about case sensitivity if you put in an uppercase I the only way we're going to be able to fix it is to delete the file so make sure it's lowercase Composer will save it as a .html, so we'll just hit save. And the next part of this assignment then is to actually publish your page. So if you uh, remember your server, they sent you an email, 
I'm on the 6TE server. My F, I go to this link for, for FTPing. You put in the 6TE.net, the server name, and then your username is your whole website, and then the password you set up. Okay, so this is our FTE, FTP, men or, uh, FTP interface. And here you'll notice it says you are in your root directory. The root directory online is equal to what we're calling your public HTML on your computer. Really important that you get that concept down. So now what we want to do is upload the file we just made. So we click upload. We choose the file. So I have to go into that folder. And this is where it's really important that your file names are exactly the same or in your folder names. We'll get to that later. They're exactly the same. But I chose my, I double clicked index and chose that. Now I click the green arrow. It has uploaded my file and I can keep, click the blue arrow to go back and I can see that right there it is listed index.html. At this point I can actually check this out high school web design dot six t e dot net okay there is a picture of my website online and I want you to turn this in on the next page. Thanks.